Hello everyone, we made it to Salt Lake City, Utah. So you're probably wondering why I'm outside in front of a sketchy looking building, but I'm actually in front of a Goodwill outlet. Ooh. So I was looking up what kind of thrift stores were around here because we didn't get to thrift in Wyoming, which really made me sad because I've been manifesting some cowboy boots recently. And I've heard all this hype about Goodwill outlets and how they're like really good, have really good deals, like it's really cheap and stuff. So I'm gonna look and see what I can find. I'll let you guys know if it's worth the hype. But this is my thrifting outfit. Um, my top is from Almighty. It's like a year old. It literally took like four months to come in. My shorts are from Glassons, literally my favorite shorts. Um, my rings are West Angel, uh, Adorned, and I will link this one down below. I can't think of the name right now. Sunglasses Shein, and these earrings are Simply Whispers, I think. But yeah, I'll link all my jewelry down below and my outfit, but manifesting cowboy boots. Give me cowboy boots! Okay, so we just got out of the Goodwill outlet and it was amazing. I really enjoyed it and it was so cheap. Like I got so much, I got this giant bag of stuff all for a dollar. This hanger was the most expensive thing I got. My total was $6 and this was $5. I want to use this for like scarves and different like accessories I have just because I don't have a good place to put them and all my other hangers look like this. So I'm excited about this piece. But yeah, I'll do like a haul of everything else. Sadly, I did not find any cowboy boots. I don't think that place was the place to go if you wanted to look for shoes because it was just a ton of bins. I'm really happy with my finds. I found this one top that I literally ordered the replica off of Pepper Mayo in long sleeves like yesterday. And I'm so excited that I found it in a short sleeve version. It's really, really cute. But you'll see it in the haul. Um, but yeah, I'll do like a whole... I keep saying I'll do a haul. I, I'll do a haul, I promise. I think he swear. But yeah, now we're gonna go to dinner, get some drinks, get some food. I found this place that looks like it's a bunch of different like stands in one, which we really like those because you can just get like options at each place. I'm not really sure what the vibe is though. I just like looked it up and it was the first one I found and so it sounds good, but Hello everyone, we are back from our daily activities in Salt Lake City. So as you saw, we went to the High School Musical place earlier in today, and then we spontaneously decided to go to a water park, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Calabunga. Yeah, Calabunga. We were literally, definitely the oldest people there by far. It was a lot of kids, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. We went on the Lazy River for like two, three hours. I have like one clip I took on Mitchell's phone because I didn't bring my camera or my phone, so here. But yeah, it was super, super fun. And now we came back, showered, and now we're going to go get tacos. Is it Tuesday? No. No. Taco Tuesday. Wednesday. Yay. Hey, everyone, and good morning. It's a little bit later in the afternoon. I mean, I think it's like noon, but I've been like filming TikToks all morning because I've been trying to get back on my TikTok game. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I used to post three times every single day and I did that for like four months. And then this past month, I just kind of stopped because I think I was a little burnt out and it was a lot to do. But now I'm trying to get back on it. So I just spent the last hour just filming a ton of different TikToks for different things and um, hopefully some of them do well. I don't know. My like TikTok has been like shadow banned too. Like I've been getting like no views on anything, which has also made me not want to post on it. But I'm trying to get back in the game and hopefully that works. But I wanted to show you guys what I got at Goodwill yesterday because I promised a haul. Um, so I'm gonna set you guys up. I'll set you up here. This dress I got, by the way, this is thrifted. I got this like last year, but um, I'm just gonna like sit in this chair. This is like a complete disaster right here though. Maybe I'll try and clean it up. So this is my bag of goodies from Goodwill. So the first thing I got, this was that shirt that I said that looks just like the pepper mayo shirt that I just ordered. It's like this short sleeve top and it's like rainbow. I feel like you can't even see, but yeah, it's like short sleeve and rainbow and it's just a button up. I thought this would be cute just to like throw on for like a beach day or something. I haven't even tried these on yet. I go back and forth between like 
feeling grossed out about thrifted clothes and like wanting to try them on to see if they fit. I haven't washed any of these, but I probably will wash them before I wear them. That's just kind of gross. Ooh, the next thing I got is this like picnic blanket. So it's this green gingham picnic blanket and I'm always looking for new, oh, I just realized there's a stain on it, but whatever if I'm using it for picnics. But um, yeah, I'm always looking for new picnic blankets because I like doing those for my Instagram and like doing a cute photo like that. And so I like having different blankets because they all start to like look the same if you just use the same blanket over and over again. And going to a thrift store to get a picnic blanket's really good. Like this was literally like 20 cents, I think. Then this is like super random. I don't even know why I got this. This is, But once again, everything was so cheap that I was like, whatever. But it's like this i don't even know maybe a pillowcase but it has this like cute little like print thing on it which i was like obsessed with and it's very like travel-y um so i was thinking maybe i could like cut it and turn it into like a headscarf thing or maybe a top or something i don't know yeah it's literally just like a pillowcase like it opens right here so yeah i don't know i just love the print of it i thought it was fun and then Ooh, I like this shirt. I got this like striped, focus. Here. Got this like striped button up. I'll put it on for you, why not? I think this is so cute and so fun. I've been obsessed with getting these like striped button ups from thrift stores because they're so inexpensive and you can get like such fun prints. And I don't know, I just really like it. All right, the next thing I got is this is literally, I can, I know that a grandma used to wear this. And it's like one of those, like, you know how like grandmas like wear shirts like these? But I thought it'd be cute to like tuck into some jeans or something. Or maybe even like crop it. It is kind of cropped already, but I don't know. I just thought it was cute and oversized and good for spring. The next thing I got was this like scarf. So I'll like insert the photo here of the top that I want to recreate with this. I have the top, it's like uh, yellow, orange, and green. And it's like literally this material. And so I want to try and like use this scarf and like wrap it like this. It's not even, but you know that top I'm talking about? This is literally the same fabric as it. And I was like, why can't I just use this scarf and make it into a top? Or I could even like just do it as like a bandeau. I don't know, I think there's a lot of different cute ways to wear this. So I'm really excited about it. And then finally, the last thing I got, this one was just like, I only got it because it was pink gingham. I love pink gingham, but it's like this extra large night dress. Let me show you how big this is. I have no clue how I'm gonna style this or wear it, but it's kind of the fun of it. But okay, like look how, it's like huge. Um, I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but it's huge. And I found the matching belt like in a different bin later on, which I'm glad I found it because it was like cinch it in on the waist, like a little moment like that. So I'm excited to try and style it and like figure out how to make it look cute. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got. Yeah, that's everything I got from Goodwill. Um, Goodwill outlet, should I say, because it was much different than the normal Goodwill, but I feel like I found better pieces than I normally do at a Goodwill, and they were way more affordable. Even though Goodwill's already affordable, but like super affordable, so yeah. So for the rest of the day, we're going to go see the High School Musical School. It's like 10 miles down the road, and I like need to see it for my childhood self to feel satisfied. So I'll show you guys that. I'm like really, really, really excited. Even though it's just a school, I'm excited to just like see it and have my whole childhood relived because I love High School Musical so, so much. And I think we're gonna try and find somewhere to go swimming because we wanna swim. We don't know if we're gonna go to a lake or find a pool somewhere. We love finding random pools and swimming in them. So I'll update you guys with what we do. So we are at East High where they filmed High School Musical. It's literally like, the same. We tried to go in, but they said they're not allowing visitors right now because of COVID. But it's like the it's the high school. Like this is where they did it. I made a TikTok pretending that I was Olivia Rodrigo. I'll insert it here. Also, their school mascot isn't the Wildcats. It's the Leopards. Wait, let me show you. 
Do you see it? It's literally the most disappointing thing I've ever seen, but. Hello everyone, we are back from our daily activities in Salt Lake City. So as you saw, we went to the High School Musical place earlier in today, and then we spontaneously decided to go to a water park, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Calabunga. Was, yeah, Calabunga. We were literally definitely the oldest people there by far. It was a lot of kids, but it was a lot, a lot of fun, and we went on the Lazy River for like two, three hours. I have like one clip I took on Mitchell's phone, because I didn't bring my camera or my phone, so here. Super, super fun, and now we came back, showered, and now we're gonna go get tacos. Is it Tuesday? No. No. Taco Tuesday. Wednesday. Yeah, dog, okay, we're at the Grand Canyon. We're at the Grand Canyon National Park. Vlog, we are at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, you grand. <laughs> well, this is what it looked like. Good morning, everyone. So I just took some Instagram pictures. It's like pretty early in the morning. We're gonna do a swimming day today. We found some like lakes, rivers, things that we're gonna swim at in Sedona. Cause it's so hot here. It's literally like 100 degrees and it's not even noon yet. Um, I just took some Instagram pictures. I took one in this dress, and then I took one in like one of my thrifted outfits, which I'm really excited for that one. I used like this, our Airbnb had this little like teapot thing that I used. Um, one problem is I've only brought cowboy boots to shoot with, and so literally all my photos have these cowboy boots in them, but it's fine because I love them. Um, I actually just ordered two other pairs of cowboy boots, so I'll do a unboxing haul when they get here. I got them from JustFab and I'm like so excited for them. My biggest life hack ever is if you sign up for JustFab, you get your first pair of shoes for $10. So I literally got a pair of cowboy boots for $10. Like not even sponsored, like literally just got it for $10. And they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I really like this dress. It's very like picnic vibes, perfect for the weather. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get omelets right now. We found this place that's down the street that has over a hundred different types of omelets, and I'm an omelet, like, slut. <laughs> that sounded so stupid. I'm a slut for a good omelet. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow we move into our apartment. It's gonna be like a long day of driving. It's like eight hours to get there, so we won't get there till like really late at night. Um, uh, hopefully like maybe like six. I'm hoping we get there by six if we wake up early and just go But knowing us that probably won't happen But I'm really excited to see our place. I really love our place here. It's really cute It's kind of messy right now, so I probably won't show you guys. Maybe I'll do like a little sneak peek here Let's walk in and see what Mitchell's up to Oh, but This area is so cute. There's like this little seating area nook and the stars out here are so pretty at night. Like last night we saw them and they were gorgeous, but our place is so messy. But yeah, see, he's in the bathroom <laughs> playing music, but it's really cute. It's just actually a disaster. Um, but yeah, ready to get started with the day. So we're about to go and I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day because I just got ready. So my hair I put in pigtails because it's hot out and I love putting my hair in pigtails. This shirt is the one I thrifted the other day from the thrift store. Um, this bathing suit's from Shein and these shorts are from Glassons Air Force Ones because I can't find my flip flops and we're ready to go. Hey everyone, so it's a little while later. We came back from our like weird swimming adventure. It was like in a national park and it was in this really rocky like stream where just a lot of people were cliff jumping like left and right. And it was really like overwhelming for me because I don't do well in those type of situations. So we left pretty quickly. I mean, we stayed for like an hour. But right now, before we go to dinner, we're finally doing our pasta night. We've been wanting to do a pasta night this entire trip. But I've been looking for somewhere that had burrata and pesto pasta. And I think I might have found it, you guys. So that's where we're going tonight. But before we go out to dinner, I want to like pack up my suitcase finally because tomorrow we leave. And then I'll be like able to unpack it. And while I do it, I wanted to share with you guys some of my packing hacks because I packed a lot of clothes into this like suitcase. I have like one of those suitcases that has two separate 
like sections in it. Here, let me just show you. So it has like this section and then like this section. It's like and it's like hard. So I was gonna show you guys some of my hacks for packing because I have a few. So like my first hack that I've used for this trip is so basically on this side of my suitcase I have all like my workout gear I have like all my swimsuits like underwear pajamas like anything I wouldn't wear on like a day to day like you know like going out outfits like my cute stuff and so I just put it all in here like all my pajamas and stuff so I know which side it's on and then on this side I have all of my like more nicer clothes like all my dresses um I put my shorts in here I have like sweaters these aren't supposed to be in here um like jeans and stuff like that so that like helps me stay organized so then I know which side I want to be like going on um which I think is like really good for when you're going on trips because when you go on trips obviously you have like your really cute outfits that you probably bought for the trip but then you also have like just comfy clothes and like if you like to work out on vacation like just workout clothes and stuff like that so that's really helped me stay organized throughout all this even though it's been really overwhelming at times to like have everything you own in a suitcase not everything I own but like these are just all my options my next hack is like <laughs> this is just kind of funny but for in order to keep like your dirty laundry and like your clean stuff separate I always bring like a handy dandy like grocery bag um there's like other bags too that like actually like for this and stuff but I was out of time and so I just grabbed like a grocery bag but it really helps me to know like what stuff is dirty and so I'm not like grabbing from like dirty stuff and like having to like figure out if I had worked out in it yet or not um because I don't know I just like always forget what I like wear and and stuff like that and it's just a good way to like keep everything organized and then when you're like when you come home you can just throw all that into the laundry because I know me personally I don't wash like shirts and like jean shorts and stuff every time I wear them because it's just like not realistic for me and it's just a lot of work and so only like underwear like bras socks pjs stuff like that I'll like wash pretty often well obviously like every time I wear it but um so that like helps me stay organized in there so then like socks and like underwear I didn't wear I can just put back into my drawers and everything will be a-okay my last hack I have to show you guys is so like when I'm like packing up my clothes I like to roll them in logs because I swear to god it saves so much space it's actually insane when you're packing you can fit so much more stuff if you roll it into these like logs so like what I'm saying is like basically and it's so easy you can do it with anything and it prevents all your clothes from wrinkling which is like actually facts I had like two different skirts one I I like log rolled like this and then one I like just fold it and the folded one I took out today to shoot in and it had wrinkles on it like all over it and I was so annoyed jeans I usually don't log roll I just lay on top like flat because they don't take up that much space and when you log roll them they get like kind of bulky so when something gets like too bulky to like log roll I usually don't log roll it because then it's just kind of defeating the purpose so like jean items and then sweaters like like this sweater, I always just have it folded on top of my um, clothes because it just doesn't take up that much space. But yeah, the log roll method has definitely changed my life. I'm going to continue packing. I'll do like a time lapse of it and then I'll show you guys when I'm done what I got. How it looks all log rolled and stuff. Okay, so I finished putting most of my stuff in. Obviously, there's like a few things that I haven't put in yet, but this is like the main stuff that I want to bring because I just wanted to be like a little bit more organized. Oh, wait, while I'm at it, I'm going to put my curling iron in here. Okay, so this is basically all my like workout stuff that I'm like done with. I might wear this set again tomorrow or maybe that one. I can't tell. But that'll be like later tonight. I'll figure that out and I'll take it out before I zip this up. 
but this is like my log roll technique at work so I like lay my jeans on top and then underneath I have all these things log rolled I have like a ton of dresses I have few pairs of or a few a few tops I have yeah I actually have like a lot of dresses um a few skirts and I could even like fit more stuff over here which I might do I just don't know like what I need and what I don't yet but then like over here this is more like yeah like my jean shorts you can see I like fold them on top and then all that sort of stuff I'm gonna end this vlog here now sporadic decision but I don't think I'm gonna take this the vlog to dinner and then like after that tomorrow starts a new vlog a new chapter of my life moving into my first ever apartment on my own well with Mitchell but like you know my first ever like adult apartment type of thing um so yeah I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow because I want that to be like a whole separate vlog and I'll probably do like a weekly vlog from there of me like organizing unpacking showing you guys the space showing you guys the area because I've never been to Santa Barbara before um and all that kind of fun stuff and I feel like it's gonna be a lot of information I feel like I already have a lot of like Salt Lake City Sedona footage in here so I love you guys so 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 much and please stay tuned to the next video because that one's gonna be insane and remember to like subscribe follow me on my socials and all that jazz. I love you so much. Bye.